Yeah, uh, and for anyone out there who's like, well, why would I do that? Other than why, why not just give them 120 bucks? Um, I do a very, um, I started trading a, a very kind of, uh, I don't want to say mediocre, but uh, much more simple kind of like beginner's version of Olympic lifting, which is just like power cleans and clean and jerks and stuff like that. And just by doing that, like when you can make your entire body function and fire at, on a, you know, within a split second, you become very powerful. So if you're any type of athlete, uh, you know, jujitsu or MMA or wrestling or fucking tennis. I don't know if, if you want to make <laughs> yeah. your body tennis doesn't count. <laughs> no. No. You lose a sale. No. If you want to make your body powerful, fast and very precise and strong and durable. Like that's one of the best ways to do it. It's funny. Cause like I go through phases with stuff outside of jujitsu as far as like strength and conditioning. Yeah. I'll go through like, I'll get interested in something and I'll delve into it. You know, like yeah. for, for, I don't know, a couple of years, it was really parkour. And then for a while it was <laughs> like natural movement. And then, you know, we did, I got way off into Olympic weightlifting for a couple of years and it's like, I will say that, whoa, you just made me loud. I, w- <laughs> I will say that <laughs> Olympic weightlifting to me feels very, very applicable, um, to jujitsu. Yep. You know, because I mean, it's applicable to all sports. I mean, athletics in general is not just how much raw grinding power do you have or how much, how fast can you move something? But it's usually in almost all athletics, it's how fast can you move powerfully? You know, yep. not just like quick and not just strong, but like how fast can you move with effort? You know, mm-hmm. and it's like Olympic weightlifting. You have to be strong as shit, but you also have to be fast right. and coordinated and have body awareness like you have to have kinesthetic awareness to pull it off right and it's it's a really interesting mix of of traits that it develops and skill sets that it develops you know so even if like the bottom of a fucking snatch is not applicable to your sport like you're never in an overhead super wide grip overhead squat position when you play baseball doesn't really matter like the, the the idea of being able to develop the attributes that allows that to occur yeah it's pretty badass you know Mm -hmm. i think like if you think about wrestling you know, like the idea of being able to move quickly into a power position is a big deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for grappling and jujitsu, it's, it's, it, man, I think it's, it's really important. Interestingly enough, I am, I mean, come do the seminar, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Right. And I'm support, I support the idea of Olympic weightlifting as a conditioning yeah. routine for, for jujitsu for certain come and do it outside of that. It's uh, it's it's pretty interesting. Recently, Mandy's been killing me. Recently, she's like, uh, <laughs> is that why she's not here? She's been, <laughs> you like, can't come. So she's been writing the programming for the last oh yeah maybe been month, yeah. Ugh, right? And it's just nothing that I like. It's just nothing. It's, yeah. it's just it's so bad. It's like she does a lot of bodybuilding shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and you know what I mean. She's she was into CrossFit for a long time and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But we're kind of going through. We're trying to cycle through different phases to hit different things and, yeah. and get into working out in a way that's like we're doing that muscle confusion P ninety X thing, right? Not really. But uh, that, that always upset me. That word that always upset me. But uh, but you know what I mean. Like we're just going through different cycles. Like if you look at anybody that does you're doing long, cycles, long term programming, me up. they'll go like you know what I mean. They'll do like a a hypertrophy phase for a little while, and they'll do like a power phase for a little while, or right. whatever you know. So she's doing uh, she's doing this hypertrophy phase right now. But basically, it's a bunch of bodybuilding type shit. Mm-hmm. Which at the very beginning, yeah. I am just like, dude. Blech. Like fuck, this is yeah. so fucking lame. Yeah, it's hard. So to, fucking lame. Until you start seeing results with bodybuilding stuff, it, it's hard to want but to listen. Keep doing let me it. let me say though. Let me say it's I, a recovery protocol. Like it's I, I have, I have until recently, I would have said that that is the least applicable for jujitsu stuff possible. You mm. know what I mean? Like because it's not it's isolated it's movements good, and it's high rev strength like, endurance though. Jesus, yeah. dude. That, that's that's why I used to do it. Jeez, yeah. man. When you when you drop the weight and add the reps and do like oh, four sets of twelve, and shit. You can add, you get strength endurance, and but that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like I I think some of the people that are some because that's the the typical shtick, yep. especially now, is like functional fitness. Like so, right. everybody's like, man don't do a fucking curl. Like, why would you do a curl, you know, power clean? It's more recruiting more, you know, joints and recruiting more muscles. And you can learn how to move your entire body explosively in a coordinated unit. That's awesome. And it's true. It's totally true. 
but it's maybe maybe for other sports, maybe for other sports, it's less applicable. Yeah. Maybe that that shtick is more accurate for like say football. Yeah. Because in football, there's no time that you are doing an isolated movement. It is a full body sport, right? Right. right. But specifically jujitsu, yeah. I can think of Holding times, the guard and using your dude. Arms, I yeah. can think of times where I am underhooking a leg yeah. and try, and I'm, I'm trying to pull it towards my head. Right. And there's you about ten times. There's about four <laughs> or five efforts to like rock it yeah. into the right position until I finally get it where it needs yeah. to be. That's a very isolated movement. Yeah. So it's like maybe if you're a baseball player, there's absolutely no. Yep. Applicability for bodybuilding. I, I don't know. I mean, I still am not 100% sold on it. But I mean, I towed that line for a long, long time, dude. Like for, mm-hmm. for decades, I've been like, that is retarded. Yep. Like powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, gymnastics, yep. you know what I mean? Like natural movement, parkour, like things that move in coordinated and powerful fashion. But not fucking isolation. That's fucking stupid. Yep. But Jesus, let me say this is, I'm on the, I'm on the fourth week of, of doing that with Mandy, and it's like, I mean, honestly, I've realized that it's been a huge... It's rehab. It could have been a huge help for me, Mm -hmm. and I've totally missed it for decades because I was just so like... You listen to... You drink the Kool-Aid. You're like, dude, functional fitness, functional fitness... The guy that I follow, and well, used to follow, he's kind of inactive now, is Arthur Vaney. I was going to say he's kind of dead. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, and that's, that's another reason why he just you has followed. stopped writing. Sure, sure. Because he's like 80, I think he's like 80 years old now, and he's completely fine. It's like crazy, he's jacked, right? not jacked, like ripped, but for an 80 year old, he's jacked <laughs> and uh, very fit, moves around. And he has always said bodybuilding protocol is the way to go because it doesn't, it doesn't, stress your body in a way that like if look oh the connective tissues in the yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and as tough. long as you use a diverse you know you're not always doing the same thing because you don't want to use the same you don't want to put the joint in the same motion all the time because yeah, you're wearing yeah. out those points it's kind of like sure. a car like you have a ball joint if it's always just if you're always taking left turns yeah it's gonna never going right that that left side is going to wear out for, faster but uh, it, it's I mean, always everything. Been, everything has to be done correctly. Like you can do yeah. an Olympic weightlifting protocol badly but you and have to fuck mix yourself up. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, and I agree. And like, yeah. th- that's the thing is, it, it, I, I don't know. It's like, a, it's a, it's, it's another reason that I got sucked into it <laughs> because like now, mm-hmm. like, uh, I mean, I'm older now, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, you can't like go. I'm at that age where it's like if I don't careful. try, I'm going to be losing mass. I'm going to be losing muscle. Yeah, mass. and I was going to say that. Like it, it, one of the best things he ever said is muscle is medicine. You want to yes. carry as much as much muscle in a natural way into sure. your your well, old age yeah, as you possibly yeah, yeah. can because yeah. that's called organ reserve. The more muscle mass that you have in your body, your organs realize, oh, I have to work harder. In a good way. So your sure. liver stays full, sure. your kidneys, everything actually responds to the amount of muscle yeah. that's on your body. And you'll live longer because you'll have the, you know, don't get jacked no, up on you. steroids. I but. mean, but I, I like my, a lot of the problem that I have is like, uh, right now is kind of, I've got to protect the joints mm-hmm. and the muscles yep. are how I'm protecting the joints. Like yep. I don't have ligaments. I don't have ACLs in either leg. Yeah. I don't have meniscus in either leg and i'm starting to get like arthritis yep. in my knees pretty bad mm-hmm. you know and i've got arthritis in my neck that i've had for years and it's like dude i'm getting to the point where if i don't do if i don't i used to be able to get away with it like i could just do functional shit and be fine but like i need to start looking at the working out like a like a medicinal thing like i need to yeah. build muscle around the joints yep i need to isolate and build all the little individual pieces. Cause the problem isn't that I can't move. I can move coordinatively. Well, it's, I mean, I can do muscles a fucking, are conditioned. I could do a Turkish so. get up with you. You know what I mean? Like I just, it's, it's like, and that's the thing. It's like, you know <laughs> we'll what I mean? We'll talk after, but I mean, something stupid. Like I hadn't, I haven't, I hadn't lifted right before I went to the doctor about my knee. I hadn't been lifting. I'd been rolling a yeah, bunch, but I hadn't been lifting. You, I kind of hey. blew off lifting for like maybe a year. Yeah. You know, so it's like, a, I mean, a fiddle fuck around here and there, but nothing regular and nothing mm-hmm. good. And it's like, dude, I mean, my strength has never been that bad. Like, I mean, I hadn't lifted in a year and was 
squatting just under, like went in to do a test to see what my numbers yep. would be so I could do like a five through one cycle or something stupid. Yep. And I'm like, I just got to figure out what my, what my one rep maxes are so I can make a good program. Yep. And I mean, I'm squatting just under four and this yeah. is like just nothing. Right. Like I had done no lifting. Yeah. But then it's like, so the problem isn't that I've lost my coordination. I've lost my power and like the tensile pulling strengths of my muscles are that's, that's, that, I mean, that's, that's probably, you lost that's probably, that's probably 20 pounds less than my max when I was lifting regularly. Yeah. So it's like the, the drop in my ability to move power didn't, didn't go away that bad. The condition, however, the, the ligaments yeah. and the joints are all fucked up. Yeah. So it's like, I really need to focus on hypertrophy which is just mm-hmm. weird because right now i'm doing a bunch of bodybuilding shit well i've always done which makes me feel like an asshole to say because look yeah. at me yeah there's always that method it's called the conjugate method i'm not gonna no nah, you're talking west side stuff yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no what i'm saying is i always move between something bodybuilding style to powerlifting style to maybe a little bit olympic style not but, sure no and, I mean, and that's, that's why like, you yeah. should have all these like if we're talking about this um well it's just this, good the seminar solid, that's coming good up solid periodization it's like yeah use it know how to do it correctly use it to train your body and your core and then to hit it go back to it hit oh, it. oh you definitely it need it. it like to tie it back into yeah. that seminar i'm not saying like now i'm like oh here's a seminar but i don't do it anymore but you I can't do, do that shit all the time but I'm well sorry. you can't do but you can't do anything all the time that's the exactly you can't, uh, yeah you know what i mean yeah. aside from walking and breathing and shitting you yeah. can't do anything all the time like you gotta like well i wouldn't shit all the time that's not good you for gotta me. you gotta make yeah. variants in it. but it's like or something i think what happens is people don't have enough knowledge about the different types of exercise. Yeah. Like guys that do all this shit, bodybuilding in the gym who really need to come and learn how to do Olympic weightlifting. And, and they have no mobility are good at Olympic weightlifting yeah. and powerlifting. Honestly, you should probably yeah. supplement with some higher rep, you yeah. know, hypertrophy stuff. And-